Second War of the War plunged Poland into catastrophic disaster, economic impoverishment, immense losses in her population and the destruction of her cultural inheritance. Whole cities were razed to the ground. A great number of churches, castles, palaces, manor houses and homes, representing priceless historic treasures of Poland's architectural millennium, fell a prey to fires and devastation, and with them went innumerable works of art, collections of various kinds, archives and libraries. In Warsaw, the total area of destruction embraced 85% of the entire city, but, as early as January 1945, Polish builders and planners set to work drawing up plans for the reconstruction of the city. In February 1945, a special bureau for the reconstruction of the capital, BOS, was called into existence. This followed the decision taken by the government of People's Poland to rebuild Warsaw as the capital of the country. Authorities and people were unanimous in their desire to rebuild the old town to its original appearance. Such conformity of thought is not surprising when seen as a genuine nationwide protest against the annihilation of an ancient quarter so profoundly linked with the history of the capital. It was even more than that, it was a protest against the cold-blooded scheme of destruction by the Nazis, who declared it necessary to wipe out all traces of Polish culture. <laughs> 